Hello and welcome to Startup Hack. Today we are going to talk about publish subscribe pattern with .NET and RabbitMQ. So let's jump right in. Make sure to check out the link down below because we always provide the code samples that you can pull down and follow along so you can see in our project. Alright, let's get our environment set up. First, make sure you have installed Docker in your machine. So, here's how you can install from docker.com. After that, installing RabbitMQ by using this command. I'm going to use this command and install RabbitMQ. To create local RabbitMQ instance along with its nifty management interface, we will using this command docker run dash dash rm dash it dash p 1562 colon 1562 which is the port number for this and 5672 also colon 5672 rabbitmq colon 3 dash management so you can run this command i have already run this command and see our docker instance is running in our docker application as you can see here do you want to earn a hundred thousand dollars a year do you want to become a software developer within just three months with our amazing course and awesome tutors, you never have to worry about getting stuck. We help students to learn skills that companies want to hire. We are Startup Hack. Don't forget to subscribe our channel. So let's get started. After running this command, now how do we access the management interface? Simple, open your favorite browser and go to HTTP localhost colon 15672. So as you can see, the RabbitMQ UI login screen greets you. Use the credential guests and guest. Uh, also password will be also guest. And click on login. That's it. Now let's configure a few things before we dive into implementation. In the RabbitMQ UI, head over the exchanges tab here and follow the steps. So first expand this add new exchange and this name it to customers dash service. Now select type to topic and click on add exchange. Now let's create two queues and binding is still in the RabbitMQ UI. Navigate to queues tab here and create select type as a classic. After that, create a new name, nav customer notification dash service, service slash customer dash created and click on add queue. So you can create here. Repeat the process with this new name, which is sales-service slash customer-created and type should be classic and click on add queue. Now let's bind these queues to our exchange, access the binding tags or from here, create a queue. So and on from exchange, you can type it customers-service. and routing key should be customer created and click on bind so as you can see it's bind already now repeat the same process for sales service as well here you can go towards the binding tab and use customer service and customer created and click on bind okay now first let's dive into the code of our publisher here which here in the customer controller the controller exposes an http post endpoint that establishes a connection with rabbitmq and publishes a message to the customer service exchange with the customer creating routing key as you can see here so here's a background of what's happening in the code we instantiate a connection factory object pointing to our local rabbitmq instance add localhost we created a connection and a channel listing the, that connection we prepared the object to be published as a message by converting it to json string and then it to a byte array we published the message by providing the exchange routing key and byte array representing the message so here's you can see that 
Now let's move on to the subscribers. We will use the classes that inherit from background service and configure them as hosted service in the program.cs file to ensure they start when the application start. So the code here does the following. We instantiate a connection factory pointing to our local RabbitMQ instance at localhost. We create a connection and a channel using the connection. We instantiate an eventing basic consumer and set up an event handler for the receive event we convert the byte array of the message body to a customer created event object we print out the receive message with this email content so we acknowledge the message as process using the ba basic a acknowledge method finally we start consuming the messages by invoking the basic consume method with the queue and consumer defined now let's take a look at the onboarding customer created subscriber in his this project so it follows the same pattern as previous subscriber as you can see here so before we can run our application and witness the magic we need to configure a subscriber in here as you can see here in the program.cs file now let's run the application click on start we will be running project separately so when i run this application after that when i pump hit the endpoint of customer created as you can see in the customer service it's published in already for watching this video take a moment to appreciate the beauty of publish subscribe pattern and how it allows our component to communicate without knowing each other directly it's like a secret tab where message flow freely and subscribers only receive what they are interested in so don't forget to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for latest updates to joining our course you can simply go to our website called startuphack.com thank you